Wednesday is going to be our next day to watch. And um, I'm going to try to squeeze in as much as I can for severe weather awareness week every day. Uh, so first things first, let's talk about severe weather outlooks before the watches and before the warnings come. This is your early heads up the storm prediction center. This is all they do for the most part or the primary focus that they have and they're talking about the severe weather potentials that we have and there are tiers to this or levels from one all the way up to five. A lot of words coming at you, but if we isolate this, if there's a marginal risk of severe weather, simply put, we're expecting storms and it's not impossible for maybe one or two of those to reach a severe level. It's a low tornado risk, but notice that doesn't say a no tornado risk. It says a low tornado threat. The tornado threat only goes up the higher you go in these levels. So a slight risk is a level two, level three, and it becomes more likely that you could see significant severe weather. And what's rare is if you have a moderate risk of severe weather, like what we experience not here locally, but in the country on Friday, or a high risk of severe weather, which we are still hearing about from over the weekend. Not only is that a very high confidence for a severe weather outbreak, it means that also we're expecting a tornado outbreak break potentially, and that could impact people, no doubt. So this always comes out before the warnings come out. Temperatures out the door right now.